to LRC's kitchen. I think it's been a long holiday, a variety of reasons. Um, maybe I was also wondering whether I was getting too monotonous, too boring. But well, I can't keep myself away from it, can I? So I'm back today and uh, I'm coming up with a very simple recipe that I learned very recently, trying it out for the first time. This is called more rasam. I guess it's called rasam primarily because it's extremely liquid and it's called more rasam, not more as in English but more as in Tamil which means buttermilk. So it's a rasam or a very liquidish dish made with buttermilk. Ingredients required very simple. I have uh, some methi powder, mendia podi or mentulu powder. I have the usual stuff that we use for tadka that is uh, mustard seeds and jeera. I have some rasam powder, I have salt, I have one red chili or two. I have a couple of slit long green chilies. I have curry beans, I have coriander. I have about one and a half gla long glasses of buttermilk. I'm going to do the rasam in a very traditional vessel. Ensure that it is not kept empty in the stove. It will melt in a few seconds. So what I've done is I've poured some water. It's about a glass and a half of water in this. Now I'm adding about one and a half tablespoon of methi powder into this. I'm going to get this to a good boil along with hing, haldi powder, green chilies, a few of the curry leaves, I will hold back a little of that. I took about four stems of dhania or kotmir. I am getting the water now to boil. I will add some more water. I have got it to about half salt to taste. I prefer to add crystallized salt. You will wait for it to come to a boil. Mix it once to ensure that all of them are together that they don't settle down at the base. Rasam is coming to a good boil. At this stage, bring down the temperature of the stove and add, if you have added one spoon of methi powder, use two spoons of rasam powder. Again, let it come to a boil. Into this rasam, I am taking about one and a half to two glasses of buttermilk which is not very thick and pouring it into this. Again I mix it once to ensure that nothing lays like a lump at the bottom of the vessel. As this is getting to a boil, I will get ready with the tadka, tablespoon of oil, mustard, when it is coming to a splatter, reduce the heat, add a slightly more liberal helping of jeera than you would normally do for a tadka. One red chili, again a little more of hing, the leftover curry leaves, put off the stove. You see that the rasam has come to a good boil now, add the tarka. 
Udah gak sih? Mustard. When it's coming to a splatter, reduce the heat. Add a slightly more liberal helping of jeera than you would normally do for a tadka. One red chili. Again a little more of hing. The leftover curry leaves. Put off the stove. You see that the rasam has come to a good boil now. Add the tadka to the rasam. 